Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is another and last reaction to Sakurasu no Pet Nakanojo. It is episode 24, the finale, and as always, if you want to see the reaction itself, just go down into my descriptions, follow the links, replace the parentheses dot parts with real dots, and enjoy. Once you've done, feel free to come back here and hear my thoughts about this episode. So, see you soon. To those that came back, Welcome back. Possibly one last time, at least for this series, but it was a wonderful and pleasurable ride for me, and I hope it was for you as well. So, um, I mean, about this episode, how much is to say there? It is kind of what I expected, right? It was um, the warm and fuzzy goodbye to all the characters. They took their time. Um, sadly, not every series is able to do that, as you know very well. There are series that have um, the problem that they're getting, you know, cancelled before they are due. And thus the writers, the producers are not able to give a nice and warm farewell to all the characters. Which sometimes is really hard to watch. Um, however, for this one here, we had it. Um, we got conclusion on many questions. We got um, finished storylines. Some others were left open, especially the triangle was left open and I like it that way. I already discussed that in the past. Um, we had Misaki-senpai um, finally getting some kind of closure. I mean, it was already kind of solved, but now she is engaged. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he knows already. Uh, Jin may be in some... Um, yeah surprise when he gets back but then he gave her the letter and he knows her enough so possibly I think he guessed that she might do it it is a bit like a special gift um, when you really need it just do it you know this security that she wants that she needs um, I can see it it was really nice to see those two um, develop all over these episodes and in this in the end, in this episode, what we already have seen in the last ones, this absolute security, this knowledge, this uh, sincerity from Jin, that he says, I know what I want. I want her. She is the one. No questions asked. And I will go for it 100%. I will try to better myself for her, to keep up with her, to be worthy of her. Although, as I discussed, she possibly does not need that so much. But I can see that he needs it for his own picture. Um, he engaged to her. He opened up to her. He um, gave herself into uh, gave himself into her hands by handing over this letter, and um, that's a nice thing. I I don't know if um, I think it is not a common thing that someone is so secure so sure about something, uh, not secure, so sure about something, or someone in this case, uh, but it's nice to have. Um, and it's a little bit like the flip side of the other couple that we see when you take this pic this picture. Um, at the other side, um, Rita and Akasaku, who are from the side of Rita, sure, no questions, uh, a couple, but from his side, he's pretty insecure all the time. Although I kind of question if this private meeting he was talking about may have been like a conference call with her. Who knows? Um, but it's good. It's uh, one of those something is happening and it's cool. I like it. She tricked him again in the end. I was hoping that there would be something like that. Um, as you know, the, I like this couple especially because it's not a typical one. Um, and then we have the triangle in the middle. So this picture here is very, very fitting, um, which is why I chose it, right? Um, Ayama wearing the uh, Nyambaru cat outfit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it was a good ride, no question there. Uh, this episode finished off with an open end, but it finished uh, for the teacher as well, the possibility of a date there. Um, it is never really completely mentioned, but I think the same as you, um, that it is pretty sure he is the one, or she is the one he was talking about. You know, he mentioned there was someone in his life, um, and he just did not go for it, so it would be nice to see that. 
I like the fact that um, Kanda is not stopping that. He is like, okay, I will try my own game um, and I can do it. That he has this confidence that he's aware that there are stones in his way and it is not easy and he may fail again. But this um, comment of his that there are doors that have to be opened and have to be walked through. And if you don't do it, no one will. Um, that's very fitting. So he has grown in many ways. Uh, as has Ioma, as we have seen. And um, there was a part of this episode as well. The fact that she is willing to confront her parents and to go to Osaka, talk to them and then come back. And by saying... This is what I want. I will not give up. It didn't work the first time, but that does not mean I give up now. Um, that's a cool thing. They Because they haven't shown that, that before. It felt like it was a goodbye forever. Um, but now she's back. Sheena Mashiru has grown so much. I talked about that uh, multiple times in this series. That is really nice to see this development of hers. Uh, which was kind of, you know, the idea of the series. Uh, that there is someone who's socially inexperienced um, and unknowing in many things is growing more and more into life. And we ended up with a kiss, kind of. Um, a promised kiss for the future, which still leaves the triangle in the room, right? Um, so, really good one. We've seen new ca uh, two new characters who have just joined in, which is cool. Uh, they seem to be pretty interesting. So we have once again a very, very clever person fitting to the Sakurasu. They are all very highly intelligent. Um, and we have seen another boy who is a bit of a creep, but charming still, right? So he is this interesting mix. Um, so there is potential, right? I don't know if there's going to be another season because where do you want to go there? Right? Sure, you could build up endless battlefields with all the new characters and connections. But the story for at least two characters is kind of finished. Although she's hanging around just the next door as we know now. So much for that. In general, um, those of you who have seen more than one show that I react to. Um, especially those of you, hopefully you are still there, who have... Um, joined me on my way all over the years now um, this channel and the old channel I had before and know that I like sugar-coated endings that I like um, you know character development but I like the light series very much um, not too much stress not too much to think about but then I want to think about stuff so it's always a question of mix um, so this one here was a series that was very light for me, light-hearted, um, feel-good, I would say, a feel-good series, which is why I always enjoyed watching it all the time. So uh, there are days when uh, some of those hard series that I watch um, that are very deep on, um, let's call it invest investigation on and analysis and stuff like this, so the Monogatari series or the Death Note series I'm reacting to right now, um, I always enjoy them, but there are days when I just feel like I'm not ready for it. So I have to skip it to another day. Um, Sakurasu and series like that generally are like, okay, um, I, I want and like to watch it. And I can watch that more neither every time because it just is feel good. You know, characters are happy with each other. Even if there are struggles and people not being happy with each other, they are not down to the blood, if you know what I mean. So, and that is what this series made and had in it. It was um, stories of people growing from nearly adult to a bit more adult. Um, I'm always hard on saying someone is completely adult because seriously, who wants that, right? Um, I'm watching this, so I'm very sorry. I'm very proud of not being completely grown up yet uh, because that what gives spice to your life. It's entertaining. It's nice. It's um, but watching them and have uh, some of their questions. There were pretty well put questions in this series. They brought up 
very different questions about interacting with people with each other um about friendship about camaraderie about love in very different kind of ways um it was well done while still being entertaining and good uh i liked the music very much it was very i mean seriously when when i see um series like that in the past those series always have so good music if i compare it to others i think that is something um that asia has in front of us they always have good music for their series i really like that uh the voice acting was great the character voices were fitting to the characters um there was emotion in it which i really dig and um really really good creative ideas um like uh, the galactic cat like um the different characters how they are how they interact and the connections to each other it's you know you can see that uh, someone wrote this and made this who knows what he or she is talking about um possibly some personal experiences in it as well so that was a really really good series i liked it a lot i hope i i know you did as well because you rewatch it now um and i hope you liked my reactions to it and that's it for me for this time as always you're very welcome to comment to like and to subscribe and i hope to see you in another of my reactions in the future until then my name is relax and panic goodbye and out